Controversy surrounding a Texas high school football team. When Toledo High School beat Fort Worth Western Hills 91 to nothing at home. Alito coach uh, Tim Buchanan said he received notice Saturday morning that a bullying report had been filed against him by a Western Hills parent. Western Hills coach John Naylor says he disagrees with these allegations that his team was bullied, adding there was only so much that they could do at Alito to stop scoring. So, Skip, I ask you this. Should this be considered bullying? And the score, remember, 91 to nothing. Carrie, Stephen A., no, it should not. I'm ashamed for the parent who filed a formal written report about this because I remind you, the team in question here is ranked number one in the state of Texas in class 4A, which is the second largest class. It came into this game averaging 70 points a game, and its starters played 21 total snaps. And its coach said that he spent all of halftime fretting worrying about how could he keep the score down what ways and means could he use so they let the clock run through the third quarter he instructed his punt returners to fair catch every punt don't try to run it back and as he played some of his second stringers and then went quickly to his third stringers he said it was hard to tell them not to try at all because they all work so hard through the offseason to get any playing time whatsoever. So to me, in the end, it's, it's shame on the opposition. If you, you know, if, if you can't stand up and, and put on a better show than you do against the number one ranked team, well, maybe you should forfeit going in because this is nothing like bullying to me. <clears throat> Well, Skip, I agree with you to a point. I don't believe it's bullying. I, I think that the parent uh, for obviously somebody favoring Fourth, Western, uh, Fourth Worth Western Hills, wishing they hadn't gotten blown out 91 to nothing, uh, I, I think that the letter was misguided. I think she should have she should have uh, addressed the letter to the high school federation. Uh, they should have some kind of mercy rule implemented where you get to stop the game and you make sure it doesn't continue. So you don't have to witness a 91 to nothing score. I mean, you don't you you have to be sensitive to kids from the standpoint. Yeah, you don't want to prohibit them from competing. They work so hard and you don't want to put them in a position where they don't get to play. But at the same time, you don't want to demoralize a bunch of other kids in the process when you get drubbed in that manner, in that fashion. 91 to nothing is excessive. There is no reason on earth why anybody should be up on another team 91 to nothing particularly kids because the kind of, of, of demoralization that kicks in you don't know what kind of residual or reparable damage could be incurred because of that now I'm not trying to sit here and be all soft and all of that other stuff I understand what competition is all about it's what has personified and exemplified my life but at the same time to me while I don't point a finger at either school I do believe that the Federation running high school sports should have seen something like this or should have had measures in place that would, that would allow a mercy rule to be invoked where, look, you get past this score, it's a wrap. We're mm -hmm. not going to allow these kids to sit out here and be beat down to this level. We talk about professional athletes, Skip, even to the point where you have all of these rules, smack talking and bravado and all of this other stuff being omitted from the game to such a degree. Why? Because we fear retribution. We fear what kind of emotions it could, re it could provoke because people get a bit antsy, get a bit agitated, et cetera, et cetera. Well, what can be more agitative than being down 70 to nothing, 80 to nothing, en route to a 91 to nothing drubbing? You don't know what could have happened to those kids. Why place them in that position? Don't expose kids to something like that or either end on the pendulum. Let it go, have a mercy rule invoked, and I think because that clearly was not the case, we should be looking at the high school federation, not the individual schools under their purview okay I'll give you the mercy rule I also want to remind you the rival coach said that these players 
that were beating them 91 to nothing were nothing but first class. There was no trash talk. There was no verbal that. taunting, bullying going on. So just for right. the record. But remember, too, we're talking about Texas high school football here. It, it is hallowed. It is beloved. They don't like the concept of having to have a mercy rule because it's sort of beneath their dignity. It's not how you play the game of football. But in this case, just in this case, I, I give you that, that I wish just for this game that they could have just called it off at halftime because the point had been made, many points had been made, and it was time to go home and start working on the next game. But again, I don't. Th there's no system in place to execute that at halftime in Texas high school football. All right. You leave it there, no, gentlemen. We pretty much agree. Coming up you. next, who would you rather have at shooting?